Okay, so I think we're doing some blackout mm. tattoos again today. So there's always more of these. I love blackouts. Um, I'm going to read the email today because Sarah's got a bit of a uh, cold thing happening. So Sorry. <clears throat> here it's from uh, a man named David Baker. It says, hey, Remy, I've been following you since the moon tattoo. I'm assuming he means the white on black moon. I have had many moons. Yeah, you've had a, <laughs> a few moons. I've sorry. had many moons over the moons. I finally got my first blackout piece. The previous sleeve was a cover up of a bad tribal design. I did my research and found someone who specializes in black work in my area. It was done with a 45 mag and Panthera ink, which made me nervous at first for the possibility of future tattoos on this blackout. Because I know of yours was done with dynamic and Panthera was used to tattoo over it. I'm going in back, back in in one month to finish the shoulder. Though we might keep the wave and rework it, we are also thinking of adding a little design to the bottom, like line style filigree or something. The only thing that bothers me is a small spot on the bottom near the point that looks like it went over the line or got blown out. She said she was doing a soft edge instead of a hard line, so maybe that's why. I'm going to address this the next session. Would love to hear your thoughts. Okay, so I think that's what he blacked out. Yeah, that makes sense. He had this garbage here. Yep. Just like gobbledygook cover is it a cover-up of a cover-up i think it's a cover-up looks like it's a cover-up already but of a tribal i think he said yeah i think so i think that's the idea anyway good move blocking this out let's get to the blackout yeah let's so get to the meat and potatoes here it doesn't make a fucking difference what black you use people people make this uh, or ask me this question all the time like you can't cover panther a black but yes you can you can cover any black you can cover anything the fuck you want literally cover whatever you want doesn't matter you can go dynamic over panthera you can go uh, any black over any black the reason why i used panthera wasn't because it's darker it's because it's different right so like panthera and dynamic have a different tone oh yeah um it's, it's, we're talking colors over colors yeah here. so uh, what people need to understand is black ink actually isn't black no um there's no such color of actual black um maybe that crazy black that absorbs the light is the only one but so black ink is either really 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 dark green or really 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 well, really, really really dark blue some combination or really 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 dark red that's why um well, uh, blackouts different... sometimes will look a little bit blue it just depends well, that, on what that the, your, your skin tone. Yeah, it, but it, it depends on what the base pigment of the ink is too. But um, like I've already covered Panthera black, so there's there's a lot of people out there that think, well, I got Panthera black, so I can't do it. No, you're copping out. None of that's true. I I've put color over Panthera already. I've put white over Panthera. I put more black over Panthera. Like there's. There's no black that's too black to cover. That's not a thing. No, you just have to use your color theory. So for an example, you can see on Remy's neck, um, his red has a bit of a purple tinge because his black has a blue base. Well, it's not just right. that. Also, that, that red has also uh, got more of a purpley uh, value to it to begin with. But that's why it works. Well, I mean, I have other reds that aren't that way, though, right? But they look different. Yeah, so there's, like, here you have a brighter red initially with less of a purple tinge to it. And it and looks it, less purple less with purple. the blue. So, yeah. You can get red that looks red. This was specifically chosen to be more of a darker red velvet color, which is why it is red velvet. Anyways, color theory. Color yeah. theory, guys. Yeah, so none of that is important, uh, and uh, I don't really think that it matters much that there's a blowout on a blackout, to be honest with you. Um, I don't think that that's a soft finish, though, either. That looks like a hard finish. It looks like a hard finish to me. Um, and all that it would take is to you know, increase the black's length just a bit to cover that if it's really bothering you. But if you're worried about the amount of sessions you're going to do, I would wait for longer than a month to cover it. Because, like, you can cover things really quickly, but it will be more work. Like, the color that we put over the center of my... Okay, so the center of the eye on my stomach slash chest area, that was done... I don't know, I had like 15 different looks, but originally that was done with dynamic. Then we blacked that out with dynamic. Then I covered it with some stuff and that was done with 
Panthera and white, yeah. and then the white was covered with color, and then that was covered with Panthera black, which is now being covered <laughs> with more color. Anyway, we covered that with color in three weeks, and that was done over multiple layers of Panthera black. And it's really bold. Well, it, it's, it yeah. It could be bolder. It's bold enough. I mean, it would have been bolder if we had waited longer, though. And you always say you should let the blackout settle before you put if, color on it. If you don't care, though, you can go fairly quickly, but then it's going to be more sessions. So, like, my head, for example, we blacked out and, uh, yeah, we blacked that out and covered it in three weeks. Mm -hmm. And it's so. still... <laughs> Pretty in there. It's of course it's, it <laughs> took three passes, but like who cares? You can do this fast or you can do it slow. It just depends on how many times you want to co cover the color. Um, if it's more settled, you can cover with less passes, but it will cover no matter what, and it doesn't matter what black you used. Like I've I've seen this stupid argument from people who are like, well, I got my blackout done by a professional black worker so there's no way you can cover it it's like pff, i could cover that with fucking hot pink well, asshole you anybody, can cover it with anything anybody you who want. can saturate color can cover yeah. your black up yeah your black blackout out, is black not as invincible up. and bulletproof as you think it is it, it, you can cover it with soft flowers if you want mm -hmm. so and it's been shown and proven yeah anyway we're Let's gonna move, move on. on here uh <clears throat> so we got another one blackout in progress or process same thing from ant m Hey, you guys, just wanted to send in a couple pics of my blackout in process. I did a cover up, uh, probably going to black out my chaos star as well. The bottom half is two weeks healed. The top is fresh, most likely doing one more session. My artist has been using a 35 mag and I only do three hour sessions. The last appointment will be just touch ups. Thanks for reading. Sounds pretty stand up. Uh, nice uh, chaos star. <sighs> One last session, he said. Yeah, you probably. I think need you more. got more work than that to do here, bud. Not to be rude. That but elbow probably could use another hit. Well, the whole thing could use love. This is nowhere near one pass. More to go. <laughs> this is even in the fresh. You can see it's splotchy. Like that. That black isn't fully saturated. Mm -hmm. Which is not necessarily a dig at the artist because black work can be harder to do than people think. But you definitely have more than one session to go if you care about the quality of your blackout you well, need yeah, to do second I mean, pass one are you thinking one session just to finish up that uh, like top part of your arm because you finish yes one session to finish the top of your arm and then multiple sessions to smooth out all of that black well, you I mean, need a you, second pass you could do a second pass in one session but but i will slag the artist on what is this why are you doing it this way look at how they finished this oh i know you could have done it some deep like Get, Make it pretty as you go. Well, it doesn't have to be, like, picture perfect, but Jesus Christ, he just took a bite out of his arm. Well, <laughs> it looks like a broken eggshell. That's what he did. He took a bite. I don't know why you do it that way. But, no, I, I would recommend more passes and the Chaos Star, whatever the hell that thing is there, that definitely does need to go. Or or you need to go in and, and uh, at the very least, get closer to the, the negative because... It's given it a weird shield-like shape, or like a sun. Yeah, I, well, it is. Um, it's a sun wheel type thing. Anyways, the, I would just black out the uh, the uh, inside uh, object and have like a black lined chaos well, star. I would just for get a rid bit, of the whole thing just for fun with the white outline. But I just think it would be fun. If you do want that thing in there, you need to butt up closer to it because right now you've changed the shape of it. Like it doesn't look quite right. It's a little awkward. So, but. Yeah, this black isn't solid, and by the look of the, the glare on the lower arm, I can't really see. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah a little bit of scar tissue happening. I definitely elbow. Looks need like some pass. bad healing, too. Looks like th there's some trouble spots in healing, too, here. So, mm. yeah, I would say smoothing this out it would be in order before you call it done. So many people are afraid to pass their blackouts twice. I don't know why that is. I have so many people who are apprehensive about doing more than one pass on blackout. Like the number one question I had when I was uh, like all black for the most part was how many p sessions, how many passes did your blackout take? That's crazy. I, I actually came up with a template to answer that question because it was so often. Like if you're blacking out your arm, it's probably because usually you didn't do it right the first time. So. Put in the work the second time and make it nice. Please, you owe it to yourself. 
Yeah, don't be lazy. Anyway, we're moving on here. Uh, we have another one from a guy, Chanuat Pavapatanon. That's a fucking impressive name. Love it. <laughs> Dear Remy, please comment. Is this is my scar normal? So sorry, my English isn't that good. That's okay. Mine isn't either. That's not a scar. That's uh, still healing. Yeah. Uh, uh, you look like you got a little bit uh, uh, overworked, a little yeah, dug. Looks like you had a minor infection, and it's looking, looking like it took care of itself. This isn't healed yet. And when it is healed, it will be a little lighter than the rest, but not much, because this wasn't very deep. As far as the black goes, that's some nice solid black. That is some nice solid black. I was just thinking that, too. Yeah, that's um, nice solid black, and you look like you got just a little overworked in one spot. And it looks like it's a really delicate spot, so mm. I, I feel like that could happen. Oh, the forearms can be a little bit temperamental. You know, you don't have very long before they get chewed up and you have to kind of move on quick yeah I, I had it told to me once that you've got 10 minutes on a wrist you know and one time i had six hours done on mine and it was most certainly overworked no oh, i uh, and then uh <laughs> stuff doesn't want to go in there the same way ever since yeah there's um, a spot on my forearm that doesn't like to take ink now because of that so you don't think i mean it does look really shallow to me you don't think this is going to cause one of those kind of green scarred no. areas no this is gonna like, look it's so shallow okay look the, the black around <clears throat> it <throat> is already healing it's just going to be a slight bit discolored. It yeah. will be a little bit lighter than the rest of the arm. Now, unfortunately, um, and people ask me all this time, all the time, um, uh, like, can I just spot touch up my blackout? And the answer is pretty much firmly no. And there's going to be some asshole who gets mad at that. But you remember when uh, I had Rick touch up the spots on my right arm? <laughs> you were full, you were splotchy. Yeah, I was splotchy. <laughs> I had like a weird shell like formation because he just covered up the light spots yeah you no, have to blend the area you this have is to do not the whole a debate thing over again i have so many people who've tried to argue with me about this for some reason but it's not a debate it will be inconsistent looking yeah you have you're gonna to have a it. you're gonna have a patch there and it'll be blacker that's why putting black ink over top of black works yeah of course it's more dense where you covered it yeah, up it's a, you don't just put it in and it smooths itself it's out. it's not how it works you no. have to you have to do that but it unfortunately if you do a really quick skim with a big mag say a 49 mag over the whole area that's only going to take you like maybe five minutes yeah and you can blend it out you can blend that out really quick and you won't notice it yeah, but you cannot shape. spot touch this up no. that's not how black work is and that's part of why like for example my legs right now uh, my knees could use a touch up, but I don't want to touch it up because I'll need to touch up almost my entire leg to make the black look. Well, we're just gonna. Well, I'll end up with new tattoos. Have on those legs anyways, so but I wouldn't like, worry about it. You can't spot touch up your knee because mm -hmm. now my knees are black and the rest of my legs are like softer black, mm -hmm. and it looks fucking weird. Like I have knee pads on. <laughs> knee pads that's what it would look like that's so cute so yeah you, when you go to touch this up if you go to touch this up just do a real quick skim around the whole forearm or at least the uh the front of the forearm and fade it onto the back of the forearm and you'll be good to go 